Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick update for anyone who might be interested and also for me because I like obviously documenting my transition. As of this month, I'm just over four months post-op, which is incredible. I know I've been posting pictures online of my chest every so often so people would have seen it, but it looks different I feel to show you in a video just so you can actually see how everything looks like properly and that's what I'm going to do now. So here is my chest four months post-op genuinely cannot believe how good it looks. I don't really have the words to describe how it feels, you know, being able to look in the mirror and see, you know, how I should actually look. So I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see, but basically my incisions are so thin, I just, I, I don't even know how he managed that, to be honest. Everything's all healed up now, so obviously last time you guys were the scene, I think I might have still had some scabbing on the nipples and stuff. That's all entirely gone. You can see that the scars have already started to heal quite well as well, these little gaps here from where the scar tissue is broken down. I do have a slight bit of kind of, it looks like swelling or something here. It's not swelling, it's just because a couple of my ribs stick out a little further than they should. <laughs> So it kind of, um, yeah, just makes it bunch up a little bit here. But it doesn't really matter because it doesn't affect how my chest looks. I still love it. And it makes it look like I have slightly more pec muscle than I already do. So that's really nice. I also reached out online and asked anyone to send any questions they might have that they didn't get to ask in my last Q&A. This is someone on Curious Cat and they said, who did you get to do your top surgery? Did you go NHS or private? And how much notice did you get when they gave you a date? Also, you look like Daniel Radcliffe when you smile, you are transition goals. That's really sweet, thank you. Also, I've heard the Daniel Radcliffe thing a few times and I'm not mad about it, like that's a really cool comparison. Like, yes, please tell me I look like Harry Potter. As many of you might already know, I went with Miles Berry. He is a private doctor, he does not work uh, with the NHS. A surgery with him was 6,005 pounds. And the notice I had for the date was a few months, I think. So I had my consultation with him around March and then I was given a date for May. So really was not a long turnaround between those two dates at all. My friend Jess asked, are you sad about the weather getting cold because your nips won't be out as much? Because I am sad about that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's been amazing having surgery in summer because it meant I could walk around shirtless basically all the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I will probably still be shirtless in the house when the heating's on because I just, it just, it's really hard to get me to wear a shirt these days. I like the fact that other people enjoy my nipples as much as I do. <laughs> On to the couple of Instagram questions I got as well. Someone asked, what do you think is okay to ask someone who just got top surgery slash what questions are uncomfy? Regardless of if you're trans or cis, think about that question in terms of any kind of surgery. Would you want that question to be asked to yourself and would you be comfortable answering it? If the answer is no, then you probably shouldn't ask somebody else that either. I think in terms of what's okay to ask someone when they've had surgery, it depends on how close you are to that person. I don't mind my friends asking me about my scars and about nipple sensation and asking to, to look at my chest and everything, but if it was a stranger, that would be a bit weird. So I think it's just up to you to judge your relationship with that individual and see what you think is best. Jay asked, what happens if you sneeze after surgery? It does feel like your nipples are gonna fly off, I'm not gonna lie. My friend Ryder asked, if your nips were not Gucci, what brand would they be? Probably like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, because I really, really freaking love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. If I didn't have Gucci nips, they'd be Peanut Butter Cup nips, which sounds kind of better. I might stop calling them that instead, actually. People would be very confused but it would amuse me. That's it for today's video. If you've got any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or tweet me or send a messenger with a scroll. I am gonna be back soon with more videos. I've got a list of video ideas. It's just kind of finding the time and motivation to film them and hoping that those two things interlock. Hope you guys are having a good day, evening, night, wherever you are, and I will see you soon. Bye.